So warm welcome nine, to Mike Bradley. Ashley Floodlights Chambers. are on. The clouds are overhead. Jimmy Sharp is in the technical area already, Alex just uh, viewing his uh, lineup that he starts today. Two changes from the side of the room. One one with Gateshead in midweek, with uh, Alex Prosser and Milan Butterfield coming into the starting lineup at the expense of the injured Ed Williams and Richard Pennicott, who's also taken a knock as well. Who's Missing from the squad. So Harry is in there. Red and white shirt, red shorts, red socks. We'll defend the goal away to our left hand side. Referee Richard Holmes and Jamie Conde and Daniel Punnison, his assistants, are ready for it. Robert trying to find the ball out to this near side. Finds the ever willing wit Lambert again on the on the ball, and he is sweeping it to the right hand side this time and Penny chases forward Harry has been stretched a bit at the back as Moyo goes down and it's a penalty Moyo catching the back of Jake Wright in the area after just seven minutes same already this season will he be able to add to it steps up drives it oh Manny gets a hand but Boston go ahead as Stulis cracks home the penalty left hand side and Harriers are trailing at home after just eight minutes. Looking now as Hemmings goes to deliver this ball. Johnson at the front line will go towards the near post. Johnson it is. Oh, it could have been. And Moyo bundles it home. Harriers are back level. Cliff Moyo with the goal. Hemmings it was with the corner. Johnson raced to it near post as uh, he did on Tuesday night. This time. He couldn't get a knock, but Moyo was following up. And the Boston defence just didn't pick it up. Field, and there's applause, and all of a sudden it's generated. More interest as Corey Davidson goes, plays the ball into Hemmings. Hemmings, long-range strike, and it's into the side netting. Hemmings unleashing a drive there for the United contingent, as uh, what normally happens with players who are coming up against their former clubs. Weeks does well to turn away. Weeks it is with a shot, but he's just got behind it and uh, lifted it high. In frustration as Harriers bring the ball away and send it through towards Johnson. Almost picked up Johnson down to Corey Davidson. Johnson's continued his run. Davidson in field. Can Harriers find something? Two minutes into added on time. Handball was the cry from the fans, but not given as Harriers win the ball back and a block there by Johnson. Leaves another Boston player cry, crying on the floor in agony as the ball's swept across. Austin it is, keeps it alive, tipped over by Peter Crook. Weeks in towards Austin, uh, to Shenton. Chambers is chasing. Bird tries to turn away and the referee brings to an end an entertaining first half that saw Boston take the lead with a, a penalty on eight minutes. Their only real effort towards the Harriers' goal. Moyo went in with a challenge on right. Right went to ground. The referee uh, deciding it was a penalty. And Jordan Dulish playing it up there to Weeks, who's the head of the diamond. Played into Austin, who steps in field. Weeks has made a good run through the middle. He takes it in his stride, then plays it out into Chambers. Into the area. Can Chambers bring it in? Low drive. Great block by the keeper. Is it cleared away? It is by uh, the fullback, Alex Penny. But Chambers looking to add to his tally there. Seeing Peter Crook diverted away for a eventually a throw in as uh, Penny cleared Chambers there set up by Weeks and Harry is still trying to press on and it's Austin Austin's drive takes a for all oh! it takes a deflection off Bird and it strikes the top of the cross of, uh, sent about Bird and it's away. Off the top of the crossbar for a corner. Shenton it is, curling the ball in towards the far post. A header down by Reese Williams. It drops again. A shot. Oh, off the line. Off the line. I think it's by the, the fullback. Boston. Alex Whittle will take it. Jimmy Shan standing in the technical area as the ball's played through. It's taken a deflection. It's dropped to Rollins. Rollins shot blocked though by Davison. Shenton's back across this near side. Ball in towards the far post. It's headed in. It's in, but it's out of. It is a goal. It's been given. Dominic Knowles has got the goal, and he celebrates on the far side. Harriers unable to clear their lines. Rollins shot, blocked by Davidson.
the ball came to this near side it was centred muster their players and troops into something Shenton getting caught there's a breakthrough now Dominic Knowles has the opportunity Wright's trying to hold himself and it's through to Thulis Thulis on the angle across the line it's blocked by Mannion's left boot and Thulis was denied where Brandon Dio is standing on the far side he is the target backing off heads it down finds Austin with the shot and it's just wide Sam Austin yet to open his account this season he gets it up the line Dio with a header on how is though can't win it back and Milan Butterfield loses out good work from Weeks as the ball breaks again to a blue shirt and now the chance is on they break into the area the shot comes in it's blocked away by Mannion but that was a great bit of work Mannion there for corner ball Boston into the area free header and a third and it's Wafula with his first touch he's headed the ball into the back of the Harriers net three points to Boston 89 minutes played and Wafula was on hand to it to Davison Davison on to Johnson who gets down to the byline and wins another corner for Kidderminster Harriers Harriers sixth of the evening or afternoon Harry is still pressing on weeks with the ball into the center Dio with the header it's hit the post and it's gone away for a corner Dio hitting the post referee looks at his watch this could well be the last action this is indeed the last action Harriers have fallen to defeat the 86 Boston United fans cheer diagonally away to our right Harriers who fall behind to a Jonathan Trulis penalty on eight minutes before levelling when Cliff Moyo bundled in Hemmings corner to bring Harriers level only for Harriers to score three chances right at the start of the half two of them to Chambers another one an Austin shot was deflected onto the crossbar before former Harriers